So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be having our grand finals now. So we're going to have Gogoy, our hero here in Cebu, the Shaoyu of, of the Philippines, versus Hikem, our foreign visitor, the Russian Yoshimitsu. So let's see here. Now they have already competed, but as you saw earlier, Hikem had the willpower to fight back all the way to the top and have a second chance against the amazing Gogoy, the Shaoyu main of the Philippines. That's right, that's right. So, guys, let's give it up for Gogoy! 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 And let's also give it up for our foreign visitor from Russia, Higem! So, let's, let's, uh, ano lang, let's give them the mic and any, let's give them the, the last words before the, before the fight. Do you want to repeat what you have said to me before? Let's go, Millier. Let's go. Alright, our players now are ready here. So let's get started with our grand finals. Again, Goko is in the losers. I mean, I mean, the losers, the winner side of the bracket. And Higem, if Higem wants to win the tournament, he has to win like two sets. So hopefully we're gonna see some good ass Tekken. Higam is definitely convinced that he is going to win the tournament. So please root for him if you do want to see that happen. So again guys, if you want Gogo to win, our local hero, our Shaoyu in the Philippines, please show your support and make some noise! A Yoshi Mitsu versus a Sha versus Shaoyu matchup. So let's see here. Everyone, the players here are getting accustomed to their positions, making sure everything is right, making sure their buttons is right. And again, this is the grand finals, the last set of the tournament. This will determine the winner of our Tekken tournament. So please do give your support because our players are now. Warming up their controls, making sure it's just right to make sure they will get that victory. All right, here we go. Here again, this is a first to three. So whoever can win, whoever can win three games, gets the tournament. So uh, yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no funny business here. We're going straight to our main Shaoyu versus Yoshimitsu. On to G Corp Helipad. Two breakable walls here, and let's see how it goes. Round one. The neutral stare. Already right off the bat, no playing around, immediately going for the kill. Both players here being, being very patient. He came with a head shirt. Finally cuts Gokoi here. Will he be able to go to the wall? Not. Continues the pressure. Goes for the helicopter sword, unblockable. Into the flash! Into the kill! He came with one round up. Gogoi study start with the first hit and cornering Higam right all the way to the map. Gogoi here, trying to escape to the wall. Will he can get this knocked off? Not quite. Seven golden letters here by Gogoi, keeping it alive here. Just like that. Gogoi with the stand space up. Finally gets the counter hit. A season 5 buff here. What is Gogoi gonna do? What's the wake up situation? Another unblockable! Gogoi fighting is fighting to get away from this wall. He came with the pressure. With the overwhelming pressure here. One more hit. You can definitely see that pressure as they turn back and forth, cornering each other, and Yoshimitsu our Higam gets the third point. Let's see here. 
players fighting for the neutral. What is Sikim gonna do? Small knife lead here by Kokoy. Is it, are we gonna go all the way to the wall? Not quite. A little bit weird of an angle. Higgum gets cornered oh! by Kokoy's goal. But Higgum doesn't allow it. He fights back, immediately hits for that kill. You definitely see the tension between these two players. Higgum, not quite to the wall. Goes for the mix up. Beware of the wall. Beware of the wall. change characters but only wants to change the environment so let's see here if he can can I know, take another round here in his home court you are definitely right with these two players being loyal to their main characters giving them love and support using them in every round and immediately we see Higgum taking the first hit leaving Gugui flying but Gugui isn't going to give up immediately strikes back going back and forth you see here 
the DM with the use of it as the sword and blockable. Doesn't get the counter hit. Nice patience here by Hikem. A good amount of life lead here. Will, will Kukui make that count up? Drops the combo though. Nice step here. Technical difficulty never even happened, ladies and gentlemen. 
So we're going here for, we're now starting where we left off here. Spacing here by both players, fighting for the neutral here. Trying to push the other player onto the wall. They're basically fighting for that spot in the middle, cornering the other one on the wall in our map. And we have it, Shadow Yu cornering our Yoshimitsu, but he does not give up as he dodges. Obviously, Go is still hitting immediately right off the bat. Oh, stop. We're going all over the wall. Oh, boy, showing signs of life here. Oh, boy. The tournament win. He needs this. He needs the breather here. Finally, has a round in his set. And he kicks us to the ground. What will he do, ladies and gentlemen? As he is already cornered. There you have it. He hits. Gets hits on Shao Yu. Immediately tries to get that combo. But Go will never give up. And try to corner him back to where he thinks he belongs. It's basically anyone's game. Let's see how far are up this. But we have Higgum! Oh, patience here by, by Kokoi. Waits out the rage arc. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at our fifth round with a score tied with two points each. Oh, nice launch here by Higgum. Finally, he gets an opportunity to bring Shao Yu to the wall. What's the OP situation? Nice patience here by Higgum. Another sword unblockable. Post for the shenanigans, counter hit! Oh, and spins the sword! He can alive here, keeping it, keeping it interesting here. And there you have it folks, Higgum, thirsty for that win, getting that third kill. So no technical difficulty will definitely stand in his way. So uh, here we are, the score is now 2-2, two, two. and again, if Gokoi take this round, he will be the winner of iconic Tekken, Tekken 7 tournament, but if he, if Higem wants to win this tournament, he needs to win this match for another bracket reset, and then wins the next set. Fight. Now our round 1 is starting with a different map, but still the same characters as their loyal Fiyoshi. Shaoyu, but immediately Higgum takes that hit, but Gogu will definitely not allow himself to be cornered as he fights back. Higgum here, showing relentless pressure, but the hop kick here with Gogu, jumping Higgum to the wall. What's he gonna do? What's the wake up situation? Definitely have a difficult time standing up, but he gets on his feet. It's basically anyone's game. Oh. But here we have Gogu taking one for the team, getting the first round. Okay, two more rounds in winning this tournament here. That definitely does not want Higem to reset the bracket. Oh, third hit didn't rip. Such confusing transitions from both characters. Now you're definitely showing his her moves. He can drop on the corner of the wall here. We see Gogo definitely at an advantage. Higgum is strapped in the corner, but will he give in? Oh, he will oh, definitely oh, not give in as he launches Gogo in the air and gets both the hits and damages. It's not enough to kill, and it's not enough to kill, but it's still anyone's game here. And the second oh, boy, oh boy, one more run and taking the whole tournament here. Guys, if you want Higgum to win, he needs your support. Please make some noise for Higgum, ladies and gentlemen. As Higgum the launch goes to the wall. Higgum jumps the combo and then Coco capitalizes on the whip. Goes to the wall. No. Even with those odds, Higgum still rises back.
are here in the final, final round situation here. If Goboy wins, he wins the whole tournament. If he can win, he has another chance. Don't be alone. He goes to the Congratulations to Gogoi for winning the tournament. Make some noise! 